guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon and I am the founder of Oh So Curly Hair Accessories and Tools brand, the inventor of the reversible satin pillowcase. And you probably clicked on this video because you're interested or curious about starting a hair accessories business. Yay! Or you just clicked on this video because you love me. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, and let's just get straight into the five steps. Now, if you are interested in starting your own product business, I recommend that you check out my new course, How to Start a Product Business from Scratch, which will take you through every single thing from manufacturing, finding suppliers, marketing, setting up your own website, getting customers, keeping customers, and everything basically from start to finish. So definitely check that out. The link is in my bio. I, as you may know, started off as a blogger. So my channel, you can swipe all all the way through to the first ever video back in 2014 I think and that is when I started my blogging journey and my hair journey. I had relaxed my hair for years and it was heat damage, chemical damage, colour damage and basically I decided to record my journey on YouTube along with social media, Instagram and so on and an actual blog. Remember the days when people actually used to blog? Yeah that was me. <laughs> so I started that way and I did quite well. I was growing in and I managed to gain a lot of brand sponsorships with some of the biggest brands out there, Shade Moisture, As I Am, ORS and I just felt like everything was going good. When it was going good, it was going good but again like my fate and my business success was reliant on someone else. My fate was in someone else's hand. That is a word. So I just didn't feel that secure and I felt like I, again, I came into this and um, it was a hobby but it turned into a business and when I was turning it into a business, I came into it because I didn't wanna work like a nine to five, I didn't wanna have a boss, but at the same time I kinda did have a boss because I was working for different brands and so on. So I wanted to take back some of that control and start my own business and it's something that I would recommend for you guys. If you're an influencer, at least have something on the side that you are generating income that you can be in control of, number one. Hair accessories are a huge part of our everyday natural hair care. I feel like with curly hair, there are so many products that benefit the hair, but it's all about the accessories. There's so much you can't do without, for example, at detangling, we need water. So a spray bottle just makes it so much easier. Having that spray bottle just makes the process quicker, along with a wide tooth comb or a brush, something to help you detangle because that is super, super but important. Also, we need shower caps when we're deep conditioning. We need satin bonnets, we need satin pillowcases. There's just a lot to protect natural curly hair, aside from just the actual hair products like your shampoo and your condition and so on. So I knew that that was a need in the market and something that often wasn't actually filled. For example, I used to work in Tesco and in the hair aisle, there was no accessories, no tools, no bonnets, no spray bottles, no white tooth combs, nothing for our type of hair. So number two was I didn't want to have the hassle of creating hair products. I knew I wanted to be in business in the natural curly hair scene, but creating shampoos, creating formulas, getting in touch with experts, cos cos chem cosmetics, chemists, is just something that I wasn't that passionate about and I already feel like I have my staples. You guys know I love my Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner, I love my Buclem Curl Cream, like I have all of the staples that I need. If I felt like there wasn't a product that worked for me, maybe then I would have gone into it, but where I feel like I already have everything I need. It just wasn't necessary for me. So always make sure that you are gonna be passionate about the niche you're going into and you are also fulfilling a need that isn't quite there yet. So number three reason why I decided to start my own hair accessories company is the fact that hair accessories, again, are lighter to pack. They are um, smaller in size and they can be shipped quite cheaply because it's not like bulky, it's not gonna have to be packed in a large box. So I felt like it would make more sense as a small business to keep costs down when it comes to packing and shipping and stick to something that's quite lightweight and just easy to put together, easy to package and take less stress off of me. So hair accessories is a really good one and you can always niche, niche down into just doing like scrunchies 
hoodies or just stick into bonnets or just stick into satin pillowcases. You don't have to do the full range, but my whole vision for Oh So Curly is to be like that go-to brand that just has everything. So that's just me. Step four, I'll be honest with you guys. I just wanted to feel better within myself as a person. I feel like when I first started, I was quite, um, yeah, I did go through a stage of like depression um, and I just felt like I didn't know where I was going in my life. I needed some direction and I'm blessed enough to know that Oh So Curly really gave me that drive and that ambition that has helped to keep me on the narrow. Whenever I feel a bit shaky in my mental health, I feel like I can just focus on that and it brightens me up and I can see that vision of the woman that I'm becoming and the life that I am manifesting in and it just makes me feel so much more confident and better within myself so along with just like the business side of things and the benefits of me helping other people and the customers it's also helping me so it's been really good in that sense too and the fifth reason is I just wanted to and want to and am creating a legacy like that's always been my dream like I want to break that generational curse I want to be the first millionaire in my family I will be the first millionaire in my family and I just want to pass this on like my dream is for like my great grand grand grandkids to remember me like they never would have met me but they better know about me and they'll probably be thankful that I was the one that you know changed things up and then they'll probably like look back at pictures and think wow because I never really had that I had no one to um obviously my mum really inspired me um but I have no one higher up than that to look back to and think wow like if my grandma if my great grandma could have done this I can do anything so I want to fill that gap again always filling gaps <laughs> pause um and be that person within the family to do that so that's my last reason if you are interested in the steps that i took to create this brand i would definitely have a look at the girl boss series on my youtube channel i also have a new free free is my favorite word at times ebook that goes through the four essential steps taken to create an original product because remember guys my reversible satin pillowcase is something that I pretty much invented it wasn't on the market so if you're looking to invent something check out that free ebook you can sign up for it down below and it gets sent straight to your inbox and if you want more detailed training and a walkthrough of everything you can check out the course how to start a product business from scratch make sure you're subscribed to my channel and guys let me know what you want to know about more like business stuff hair stuff um in the comment section below and if you ever want like one-on-one -on -one help from me you can also check out my calendarly down below and book in a consultation with me and i can give you more direct direction and goal setting and all of that kind of stuff so yes i'm so grateful for you guys thank you for watching i hope this video inspired you in some way if it did let me know down below in the comments and i'll catch you in the next one